your boy Pool Kind of Boxing. Coming back at you with another boxing video for the boxing hits and the boxing minds. So, you know, I wanted to talk about make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. So, you know, Teofimo Lopez will be fighting Pedraza uh, December 10th. And it's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a good fight. I understand Teofimo Lopez, man, he don't want that fight. Because, you know, Pedraza is, he's a hes a tough veteran, you know what I'm saying? And he been in against some of the best. Now, did he win? No, we all know he didn't win. You know, he fought, you know, he fought against, um, you know, Tank and got not KO'd. And then he fought uh, Jose uh, Zapata and he lost. And he also fought Jose Ramirez and he, he lost by UD. And he fought uh, Richard Coleman, got a draw. And he fought uh, uh, Lopez, you know, Lomachenko, Vasil Lomachenko. So he fought some good dudes. So he got a lot of great experience. And he'll be a good little litmus test, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, for Teofimo Lopez. Because Teofimo Lopez lost to George Cambosos, man. And they, he, then he lost his mind. Right? He lost his mind. And he lost his confidence, right? So this will be a good little test for Teofimo Lopez. Not that last dude. He thought he was too old. Um, the dude was just out of his prime. You know, you could just see that, right? So, you know, we can't give Teofimo no credit for beating up on a senior citizen. You know what I mean? The dude was moving like molasses in the ring. Um, you know, Teofimo Lopez was doing, you know what I'm saying, forced moves. You know what I'm saying? Moves that... You know what I'm saying? We know he can't do. And, you know, unless he was in there. He couldn't do that against a great fighter. You know what I'm saying? And um, so, you know, Teofimo Lopez, you know, this is this might be it for him. You know, because if he loses against Jose Pedraza, then he's going to be looking real ugly enough. You know, Teofimo Lopez got 17 wins, one loss and 13 KOs. He's age 25, 5'8". With a 68 and a half inch reach, he's out of Brooklyn. And Jose Pedraza got 29 wins, four losses, and uh, 14 KOs. He was knocked out once by Tank Davis, 5'8, with a 70 and a half inch reach. He's age 33. Teofimo age is 25, right? So, what I'm saying is, you know, this is going to be a pretty good fight to see if uh, Teofimo Lopez can dig deep and find his confidence, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, he's he's going to be ahead of a really good card. You know, you got, um, you know, you got Jared, you know what I'm saying? The real big baby, you know what I'm saying, fighting. You know, he's going to be fighting some dude named um, Jerry Slugger, you know what I'm saying? S Slugger Forrest. And then you got um, uh, Xander Zaya going to be stepping in, stepping up in competition against... Um, Alexis uh, Salazar, and you got uh, Keyshawn Davis, who's going to be fighting Juan Carlos Burgos. Also, one of my favorite fighters that are uh, prospects that I'm watching, Shushu Carrington going to be fighting um, Juan Tapia, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be um, happy about watching that shit right there because I know Shushu going to bring uh, Keyshawn Davis. I know he's going to get in there get down so really i'm more excited about the undercards than i am about the main event so you know the card is stacked it's gonna be the shit is gonna be off the chain tell you the truth you know and hopefully you know we'll see what teofimo lopez got i think he may get for you know what i'm saying but that's just you know what i think um but i'm i'm more see i want to see big baby i want to see shushu i want to see Keyshawn davis you know what I'm saying? I want to see Z um, um, Xander, Zaya. I want to see all those undercards, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I know you will too. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, for Teofimo Lopez, man, this, I mean, I don't know what to tell him, man. You know, this is, he's been hiding out and getting away with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is going to be, this is going to be the test that she, the shows, you know what I'm saying, if he deserved to be up there at 140. You know what I'm saying? If he don't deserve to be up there at 140, guess what? You know what I'm saying? Top rank going to have to do something else. He's going to have to find something else to do. You know what I'm saying? Because if you lose to um, Jose Pedraza, you definitely ain't going to beat no um, 
Josh Taylor. You're not going to beat no, you know, you're not going to beat no um, Joseph Pater. You're not going to beat none of those dudes, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're definitely not going to beat uh, Antoine uh, Russell, you know what I'm saying? Because you're just not on that level, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was always able to hide out. You better try to go fight Gar uh, Ryan Garcia or somebody like that, you know what I'm saying? So you can stay up under the radar, get you a couple of paychecks and go home. You know what I'm saying? That's how I see it. But that's all I got. This has been Pool Counter Boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel for more hardcore boxing content. See you guys in the next live stream. Peace.